Next at four, the search for answers after an 84-year-old man in Baytown was injured in a drive-by shooting. What was supposed to be an everyday walk with his next-door neighbor suddenly turned dangerous. Good afternoon, I'm Lauren Freeman. And I'm Keith Garvin. We've been following this story since our newscast at midday. It happened this morning in the area of Pinehurst and Mulberry Lane, not far from Cedar Bayou in Baytown. The victim was flown by air ambulance to Memorial Hermann Hospital and the Texas Medical Center. And that's where we find Channel 2 reporter Ryan Korsgaard with the very latest. Ryan. And police are telling us they are puzzled on this one. Keep in mind, it happened in a low-crime area. Right now, they tell us they are looking at every possibility, including the possibility he was targeted. Detectives and other officers from the Baytown Police Department go door-to-door, -door checking for any surveillance video that could help them find the shooter who ambushed an 84-year-old man. He was on a walk in the 9600 block of Pinehurst Drive before 6.30 this morning. We woke up this morning and we heard pounding. What We didn't really know what it was, but um, it sounded like gunshots. She looked outside and saw a neighbor lying on the ground. Baytown police say he had been hit at least once. Life flight flew the man to the hospital where he was rushed into surgery. Police say they are looking at every possibility. I'm real cautious as to, to, to classify it as a target shoot because we don't know that it is. Uh, again, the fact that it's in an area where there's not a lot of crime that happens, especially of this nature, the time of the day that it happened, um, you know, it just, it, it lends itself, you know, kind of away from it being random. Neighbors say the victim and his friend are next door neighbors who live just one street over from the shooting. Neighbors say the two walk together every morning. Very unusual. We've lived here since 1990. It's very, you know, quiet neighborhood. Our kids grew up here. We're not afraid to walk around or, you know, go outside in the dark or whatever, but we've always felt very safe here. And so far, a name nor an updated condition have actually been released. We're live in the Texas Medical Center. Ryan Korsgaard, KPRC, Channel 2 News. All right, Ryan, thank you.